Hi everyone, Krish for this side. So as the amazing month of October is going on and Hacktober Fest is on its peak and everyone is trying their hands in open source and making their four VRs and planting a tree or maybe getting a t-shirt. So I thought let's share with you all all the other opportunities that you have in open source different programs, internships and scholarships so that if you find open source interesting, you can keep your game up with it. So let's start. Before that, if you are like having some problems in using Git, you can uh, check out this amazing playlist. This is by the coding train. I assure you that after seeing this playlist, you are going to have no problem in using it. Now, I have listed 10 different opportunities, but these are not the end. There are a lot more. Maybe I don't know some. Maybe you know some. So if you know some that are not in this list, please tell me in the comments below. And let's start. So our first opportunity is Anita Borg Open Source Hack. With the name, you may think that because it is by Anita Borg organization, it is only for women, but that's not the case. It is for everyone, all the students, the working professionals and everyone. And it requires no registration at all. The time period goes between September to October and the link to the website is in the description below. So if you are interested, go check that out. Now, let's talk about the second program. This is very famous and I am sure you know about it. This is GSOC. So Google Summer of Code. It is only for college students. These are the eligibility requirements. And the application starts near March and the time period is from June to September. So, so it is a very great opportunity. So if you get selected, it is a paid scholarship and you should definitely try for it. And let's go to our third opportunity. So the third in the list is GSSOC, GSOC. This is by a non-profit organization that is Girlscript. So its name is Girlscript Summer of Code. It is kind of a replica of Google Summer of Code. But the thing, the best part about it is that everyone can take part in it. So there is nothing like I, you will get selected or not because everyone can take part and they will provide you a certificate for it only if you have done enough work. So it is also a three month long program and the application starts in near January and it continues from March to June. The fourth is RSOC. But wait, before that, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do and like this video so that so that YouTube get to know that this is a relevant video. Thank you. So now, now talking about real summer of code, it is only for girls and non-binary coders. Its application starts near March and the time period is from July to September. Uh, you can find all the links in the description. So if you want to check out any of these, all the links are given below. So fifth is season of KDE. So it is by K desktop environment community and it is also a three month long program. It usually starts from December to like mid February and uh, there are many, there are many communities involved with it. So you have to contribute to them before so that they will choose you. And the sixth is Lyft Scholarship, the Linux Foundation Training Program. So this program is also for everyone. They have many different categories in which you can apply for like open source, like open source newbie, women in open source, sys admin superstar. The website right now don't contain much info because for 2021 it will be, uh, it will be open near spring. And the workflow for this starts near October only. So now this is the sixth or seventh or whatever. Uh, so, so this is code heat. So code heat. It is for everyone, students and working professionals. It will start in like this October and it will end in like next June. It happens in three phases and there are a lot of great swags they provide if you are doing enough work. So definitely check this out. So now the eighth program is Outreachy. So this is for women and all the underrepresented groups. And it happens twice a year. For the first shift, it will happen near May to August. And for the second shift, it will happen near December to March. And it is a paid internship if you get selected. So definitely try this out. All the goals. Now, ninth is Google Coding. So it is only for 13 to 17 year kids. But wait a minute, I know you are above that, but you can apply as a mentor. So if you will apply as a mentor, you are eligible for it. 
and you can uh, really mentor the children there so the application will start near december or november and uh, the only requirements are you have to be active on get you have you should have a good profile so that any uh, organization you know choose you as a mentor and and the last but not the least microsoft learning student ambassadors so i have made a whole video on it but i am sure a lot of you haven't applied for it yet i will definitely suggest you to check out this video and apply today and also there is another thing that is called winter of security by mozilla so many people had doubt that uh, what is this and they're not getting much information on internet so this was a program by mozilla it happened it was kind of gsoc but it used to happen before 2017 in 2017 it got under gsoc so now it is not any different program it is under gsoc so uh, i hope this clears everything now do let me know that what are all the programs uh, that you have written in your diary that you that i told you to make one uh, if you don't know what i am talking about in this video i told you that you should have a diary in which you write all the opportunities that you can be eligible for if you want me to like make a full video on any of these particular scholarships you can tell me in the comments below and i will be more than happy to do it for you so if you have any doubts please put them in the comments below also you can join my telegram group if you want any advice after youtube comments i am more active there Uh, apart from other social media you can also follow me on instagram and linkedin if you do please like it and drop down a comment below and i will see you all next time bye bye